Death within minutes, that's what doctors say, could happen if too much helium is inhaled too soon. NBC 5's Christine Pitawanich spoke with a lung specialist today about the dangers of inhaling helium. Christine. Craig, that's right. You know, it's something many people have done at some point in their lives, inhaling helium from a balloon, that is. But the doctor I spoke with today tells me breathing in helium, especially from a tank, could mean death. This weekend, 14-year-old Ashley Long of Eagle Point died after police say she partied with friends drinking and inhaling helium from a pressurized tank. But police say they think it was the helium that killed her. It is dangerous and obviously we, we believe in this particular case contributed significantly to a 14 year old, you know, losing her life for, for nothing. Doctors say the gas itself isn't dangerous. It's when people take too much of it in that they can suffocate themselves. The more helium you inhale, the less oxygen you will receive. So if you continue to inhale helium continuously, you get no oxygen. When does it get to the point where it's potentially deadly? Within minutes. And he says inhaling it from a pressurized tank makes all the difference, quickly robbing your lungs of oxygen and possibly causing damage to lung tissue. You can have lung rupture from the high pressure system or you can get the gas bubbles in the bloodstream that goes to the brain and causes stroke-like symptoms. It's an already risky practice made more dangerous by drugs or alcohol, which Dr. Lau Habarunakit says slows reaction time. They may continue to inhale helium for too much too long. He says inhaling helium does not result in a high, but the resulting change in voice or feeling of suffocation might be reasons some people do it. Now the doctor I spoke with today says other than lung problems, he knows of no medical condition that makes someone more prone to die from helium inhalation. Live in the studio, Christine Pitawanich, NBC5 News.